everyone. I hope you're all having a good day. It's AJ with Everyday Patio, and today we have an Elite Wood Patio cover for you. So we started the day with teardown of the old patio cover. So you can see it was like a lattice where they tried to make the first foot or two about a solid lattice, um, which is actually a little bit common when you're doing lattice, but in this case, it kind of was a disaster. Kind of made like a leak where it was pouring back in through the window at the house which is common with old wood patio covers, basically not having proper drainage. So they put Henry's, uh, liquid nails, everything they could to make that thing waterproof and nothing really worked. So thankfully we got called out there to rebuild the patio cover. So here we're taking it apart, kind of in sections. You can see they put pressure treated around those posts to try to account for the post rotting. And then you can kind of see those layers I was talking about on top. the fascia board coming down and here's a little bit of the repair that we're doing I basically had to do some stucco repair and get off some of that tar that was on the house liquid nails all the different things they tried to use to seal the patio cover then we primer coated it and put a finish coat of paint that's my wife working with us Machicia. And here I'm making sure the posts aren't a trip hazard. So these are gonna be filled in by his concrete guy who did all this work, which actually, he did a great job with the stamp. And then basically no one's gonna trip on that because it's kind of beveled on the ends, no sharp metal. And here we're leveling off the patio cover. Chalking where level was on both sides. And that's giving us a rough height of where everything's gonna be. You can see how those cables are in the way. We're gonna tape those up in a little while. That's that's common on a on a house with an old patio cover, cables running everywhere. A lot of them can honestly be discontinued, but most of the time people don't know which ones, so we end up saving all of them and later on they can discontinue them if they want. Doing the side plates. And getting the beam flipped over. So I'm gonna give it the same overhang on each side and basically strut it before I put up the panels. We're getting up the first panel. So here's really where the builds kind of either go right or wrong. You really want to make sure those panels are installed properly, sealed in between, and then locked together right. It's the sometimes the quickest part of the job, but everything leads up to this moment. And thankfully it all went well, and it's gonna get its extruded wrap kit, its final roll form wrap kit, and then this is all the electrical going in. So there's a lot going on with the electrical right here, but basically it's a junction. I'm grounding the patio cover, and the top box is gonna be for the dimmer, and the bottom box is gonna be for the sconches and the floodlight they have on the other side of the house. So those were a lot of those things were connected on their previous patio cover, and I'm just reconnecting them now. Don't do this if you don't know basic electrical, And but I'm basically combining the white lines all the common, on the common circuit and then the hot lines to the appropriate places in the switches. And then for the fan, that one's gonna be always hot with a remote switch and basically the pull down chain is gonna act as a secondary switch for it, which is common with fans. There's us finishing up the fan. Now these lights are kind of cool on this patio cover. They're actually 5K, so normally we go with 3K lighting. These ones are a slight upgrade and basically it lets you choose between 2700K and 5K lighting, which is the color spectrum. So one's more orangish and one's kind of more white light. So this is gonna be a white light patio.
here's the front side of the wrap kit going on. So this just gives the patio cover a finished look. Not all patio covers come with a wrap kit, but I personally like to put them on mine just because I like the finished look of it. So all the power is working, that's great news, and we're moving on to the end of the patio cover. Here's what it looks like the top before the final layer of ceiling. And the final walkthrough. So, I just want to thank everybody for watching. This was really a night and day project compared to what the patio cover looked like before and what it looks like now. We're glad to have been able to build this and just want to thank everybody who's been watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. It means a lot. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe. And if you're looking for a patio cover, feel free to give me a call. Thanks, and I hope you have a good day. Everyday Patio out. Thank you.